boys, girls, kids, adults, men, women, dogs and ducks. I have found possibly the worst driver I think I've ever seen. I don't even know what I'm about to show you here. Now, I consider myself a little bit of a um, an expert driver. You know, I've been asked to do Formula One a couple of times. I turned it down simply because uh, I didn't want to I didn't want to do it. Uh, I'm, you know, sitting comfy here behind my laptop and why, why risk your life when you know you can do it, you know you've completed it, you know F1, I'm pro at the game. I'm also really good on GTA at driving. You know, when you do your heist with your mates or just random people in my case because i have no mates i'm always the driver because my reactions my skill set my driving capacity is just out of this world no one comes close lewis hamilton once asked me for tips max verstappen when he won his first thing he asked me how do i get this over the line you know that movie made on lewis hamilton in the final i told him to do that but what i'm about to show you a man a gentleman by the name of jack doolan 22 was driving on the 20th of december last year now this video is crazy this is either he must be off his noodle or he's just the worst driver ever. But he's 22, so he's clearly had a bit of time to partake. Go full screen, mate. So as you can see here, he's uh, clearly taken a few out of the notebook of uh, driving Trevor's truck on GTA. He's all over the place. He doesn't know which one's the brake. He doesn't know which one's the accelerator. He's trying to skid now. He thinks he's literally holding L2 to drift, or R1, is it? I can't remember. And then he's gone into the side. But no, he keeps going. He keeps going. He takes that poor guy out. Disqualified for two years. That's all he got. I mean, let's just watch this again. Two years for taking out a car, driving in the middle of the road, braking like a mong, swerving. I wonder what was going going on. So they failed to stop and then were arrested for obvious reasons, putting life in danger, ruining a car, ruining a motorway, more importantly. I can't believe that. Disqualified for two years. This is the worst driver I've ever seen, and I get two years. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do a test. I'm going to go and take my Formula 1 car, brush it off, get the dust off, and go driving on the M1 like this, or M25. Crashes straight into a concrete barrier, takes out poor granny over there in a Fiat 500, and then smashes into the sidewalk. Ugh. It's a good thing this person filmed it, otherwise we won't be able to do a, re a reaction, but this is just horrific. This is just shocking. Sky News with this. What, what's going to happen to this boat? Is it, he literally just got a two-year ban. He put someone's life at risk. He was travelling at 70 miles an hour, 75 miles an hour, when it was recommended at 50. He then failed to stop at the scene, so he drove off and was arrested, funnily enough. What a surprise. He was uh, pleaded guilty to dangerous driving and failing to stop. Was he pissed? He must have been pissed. There's no way he did this so bad. Who drives like that? Have you ever seen anyone drive like a nutsack like that? So, what what are the outcomes of this, you might ask me? Well, you know, you'd hope maybe he got his hands cast in iron so he can never hold a wheel again. Maybe uh, chop off one of his ankles or something like that. No. Instead, he got 200 hours of unpaid work. That is probably going to take weeks and weeks over weekends, the poor bloke. He's probably going to have to clean up, apologise to the old lady that he smashed into. And he must complete 10 days of of rehabilitation activity and pay 250 pounds in costs 250 quid that's all right to say what he did and what he done 250 pounds in costs is not bad at all i once saw i was driving down a road and a car uh, basically didn't uh, luckily it, it was nowhere near me it was like there was one car in front of me and then there was a few further on and this car came so it was like a, a straight road and then this uh, road to the side where you know you have to stop look look left in my case look right whatever he doesn't stop he just goes straight in front of me uh, straight in front of the car in front of me into to the wall but he like manages to turn it so he basically sheds the whole of his side of his car then keeps going and then he goes too far right and then he smashes into the uh, a car that was driving the opposite way so he basically did a massive shoehorn type thing took out his car took out another driver luckily i don't think anyone was hurt uh, selfishly i was on the way to work so i didn't stick around i was like this is your problem sweetheart you deal with it you clearly are either hung over as fuck or i've never learned to drive you can deal with the feds now you might say that sounds a bit mean but it's not my problem is it if you don't know how to drive at the age of fucking 50 that is on you and not me the police said that the incident was completely preventable by driving within the conditions of the road environment and vehicle cap capability yeah cheers it probably was that's why i, I just struggle to understand how this guy was sober because he was not there's not a chance on god's green earth that he was space saver tires are only designed to get you to a safe location at slower speeds to get the tire load replaced he only it was a miracle that no one was seriously hurt as a result of doom's dangerous 
just driving. Doolan. That sounds like a villain's name if I've ever heard, isn't it? Doolan. What's your name? Doolan. All right, Doolan. Hey, oh, that's Jack Doolan. Isn't he in, uh... It looks like the guy who plays fucking, um... What's that guy called? His name's in it. Dexter. Dexter. So, yeah, he's been disqualified. It took a year, though. I wonder if he's been, he can't have been driving since. Well, his car was pretty undrivable, so I doubt he was. But what do you guys think of this? Is this the worst driver you've ever laid eyes upon? I think this is hilarious. I'll be honest. I think uh, it's only funny, obviously, because no one got hurt. But thank God no one got hurt so I can laugh and have a joke about it and make a video. Someone driving like that. How did they pass in the first place? He must have passed his test. What ninking poop. What numpty. What sausage roll gave them that certificate and said, yeah, you've passed. I passed first time, but, you know, I did get a few um, marks off my test. I remember someone who really annoyed me as well. She said I didn't check my mirrors when I did, like, my parallel park. I was like, I fucking did. I made a big song and dance about it. I literally turned my whole body so it looked like I was checking everywhere, you know, being a bit sarcastic about it. And I remember when I was doing my test as well, I tried speaking to her. I was like, so, how many of these do you do a day? Can I put radio on? Do you, do you enjoy your job? And she just ignored everything I was saying. I'm a bit of an awkward speaker. If you couldn't tell, I can't stop talking. I just keep speaking, speaking, speaking. Every everything every day i'll just talk i'll just waffle gobbledygook it's not an issue i enjoy it it's my my thing i'll just talk and talk and talk like now i'm just talking 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 utter gobbledygook but yeah i passed first time like i said formula one driving me passed uh, i had to say no simply because i've got a bit of a bad back so i couldn't actually you know sit in the vehicle for too long me me back actually really hurt if you've got any funny driving stories i'd love to hear from you guys down below let me know what you guys think of this uh, should they be castrated chemically or is that a bit too far for driving maybe it's too far for driving maybe 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 it's too far for driving maybe we should give people a second chance personally i'm perfect so i don't need any second chances so i just use myself to leverage that and compare myself to other people so it's hard it's hard being perfect but it's harder not being perfect so i'm told anyway i won't know but yeah this guy he got lost his license for two years what's gonna happen in two years time do you think he's suddenly gonna play he's gonna suddenly be able to uh, you know find where the accelerator is and find which foot goes where and what the handbrake does and what an indicator is because I don't I think this guy's doomed some people just can't drive mate evidently some people are just sausage rolls and need need sticking in Greg's and working full time there because look at this guy he's not even a he must have been drunk he must have honestly he must have been off his noodle and then to hit someone drive the opposite way literally make a full u-turn and carry on driving oh mate it's fucking it's corkers it's absolutely nuts and corkers people don't know what planet they're on sometimes and people don't know evidently what universe they're in you guys let me know any funny stories leave a like if you enjoyed let's uh let's hit half a like that'll be fantastic thank you so much